It's Tuesday, January 20th, and time for another video blog. It's been a couple weeks since the last one. Didn't take a video blog last week because there wasn't much difference, but there's been an awful lot of progress the past week. The drywall is now completely up everywhere. You can see the architecture of the house and what the space is going to be like. And we now have the plasterers in there. They're taping up the drywall cracks, putting plaster over. Mike expects this to take two, three weeks. This is going to be one of the tasks that isn't going to get rushed. They are going to take their time, get it done right, have the ceilings look nice, should be able to get a close-up. This is Trish talking to Mike Salvador, the builder. Another feature is that they finally completed the siding in front and getting all of the little decorative pieces up. There are now two semicircles, one over my office window, one over the door. Say hi to your fan audience. Hello. <laughs> yeah, he's videotaping and putting it up on the blog. So he's done a few walkthroughs. Yeah, we'll get that dumpster out of there. Another new feature that was integral to starting to heat the place up is we now have garage doors and automatic door openers. You can see where my giant floodlight is going to go and then lights on either side. The propane trench is now completely filled in, set up here. Septic system work has been completed. The inspector from the town has come out and signed off on it. They poured water in the system and watched as it percolated all over the place. Fittings for the porch going up there. So there, this is the actual septic tank itself with two thingies for pumping out. And then I don't know what this box here is, and then the septic field where it all drains away into whatever perk, the perk field or something like that. ground is now officially too frozen to do any more digging, so the generator pad and the generator will get installed after we move in March. The end of March is the current scheduled time. He expects to be able to do the work sometime along with the landscaping in May or June. You can see here, he tried to dig something for the front steps and took a couple of gouges in it and said, no, this dirt isn't going anywhere. So, you can take a look at the fan thing over the door. Another decorative feature is this paneling under the windows. When there isn't a dumpster, in contrasting trucks in front, I'll be able to take another front shot and see what it's like. So, go in the front door. It's heated, so closing things up. So here's looking down the great wall, get great room. There's our $200 beam. We paid an extra $200 because we wanted the paddle fan mounted exactly there instead of off-center. Closet. Front hall closet. Which hopefully people won't use because look on the side door. Bathroom. View into the dining room. Our 
our thermostat for the main zone. Looking into the kitchen area, going from the dining room to the kitchen. Going into the master bedroom. Get an idea of how high this ceiling is going to be. Wicked high. Looking out the window. Now that they have some of the plastic off, you can actually get it over here. Looking down the master bedroom towards the bath. The closet, dark. There's a lighting fixture there. Bedroom, jacuzzi. Place for purple pendant lat. And we can't cut through this wall anymore because it's actually a wall, so we're going to have to walk around. Looking out the picture window into the swamp. From the great room, looking back into the kitchen. Soundtrack provided by whatever radio station the contractors are listening to, the plasterers. We go downstairs. They're now drawing water from the pump and using it upstairs for the plastering. That's what the black hose going across the floor is from the well. You can see we now have another breaker in the patch panel. It's hooked up for the garage door. So going down burner, well, well, garage, L and S, and door openers. There's the furnace, strafe sideways, down the long end, this is by the back door into the basement. All of the screens for the windows and doors underneath. Hose going up to the next floor. Storage area. Our freezer and second fridge are going to end up down here. And go upstairs. Follow the hose. Go in here first so you can get an idea of what the plastering looks like. It's white walls. 
We also have a plastic seal. Let's see if, yep, it looks like it'll be possible to see the texture on the video. We do not want popcorn ceilings. So this room is currently the most done. They've got the stripe connecting the wall ward, lots of plastering tools and things. Trish was having with Mike is what goes on top of the ceiling there? Does it stay plasterboard and paint, or do we want to pay money to put hardwood tile up there? Trish will be deciding that kind of aesthetic thing. So we'll conclude with a view out the back window. Till next time, this has been our video walkthrough.